What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here, and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 14 Chelsea career mode. Welcome back guys, uh, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Yeah, good? That's good, great. Okay, uh, we have two matches in today's episode. The first match is against Tottenham Hotspur, it is a home match. And then later on in the episode, we have a match against Barcelona. So, basically, we're versing Barcelona now in the quarterfinals. is because of the last episode, we ended up winning 2-1 of uh, Atletico Madrid. Now, I'm just moving around the squad here because David Luiz and Dan Linio, unfortunately, did both fucking pick up uh, red cards, which is disappointing. I did bring on Mario Fernandez, who's been a re surprisingly a really good player from CSK of Moscow. He was quite relatively cheap, so if you guys are looking for a cheap right black right, right back who isn't like Rafael or Dan Linio, the common um, players people sign and be a little bit unorthodox, go with uh, Mario Fernandez. He's a really good player. So uh, in the last episode, we did end up winning two one over Atletico Madrid. And then later on, we had the uh, we had the final against Manchester United. We ended up winning 3-2. Benzema starting off the scoring. Then Oscar made it 2-0 just before half-time. Mascherano scored in the 45th minute. And before that, it was Zlatan. Oh, Zlatan scored in the 36th. Wow. Wow. We were 3-0 up before Mascherano just scored for half-time. And then Robin Van Persie scored a consolation goal in the 90. That's fucking EA for you. Mascherano scored in the 45th and Van Persie scored in the 90. God fucking damn it, EA. <laughs> Get your shit out of here. But we do have a match against Tottenham that we do need to win. I forgot to mention where we are in the table. It's going to be a hard match, even though we have our two, first, uh, first two... Uh, what can I say? First team. <laughs> well, my two first team defenders, David Lewis and Dan Linia. So Tottenham Hotspur were coming at me pretty fucking hard. And it was Mario Fernandez, the right back, to start off the scoring. And uh, I was praising him before as a really good right back. Look at the right back. He had so much energy coming off the bench, puts it in the bottom right hand corner, and starts off the scoring. Nice goal there from the right back. And that just proves he can push up. He's not like the Jordi Alba who pushes up really fucking far. But that's a really good shot from a left back. Nice shot there, buddy. Now, back to the table. We're currently first in the Barclays Premier League on 69 points. Ha, huh, get it? 69. Second is Liverpool on 63 points, followed by Manchester City third on 62. So, there's not much of a difference between Liverpool and uh, Chelsea. Uh, sorry, Liverpool and Manchester City, but we're still what? Um... Who's Arsenal on the table? Okay, Arsenal fourth on 55 points, followed by Manchester United on 54. So like, it's, still, it's still pretty close. Tottenham Hotspur are sixth with 52 points, and Everton are seventh with 43 points. That's probably what I would have summed up. Uh, that's probably very expected at sort of table. But uh, I don't really know what Loris was trying to do there, being with his former Frenchman manages to befuddle there. But he does get it clear, not as far as a defender. And as Latan comes in and scores another goal for Chelsea, what a player as Latan is. Uh, signing him in from PSG this season, he had his ups and his downs, but in the last couple of episodes, he's been absolutely fantastic, and he sends an absolute belt, and nearly clipping Benzema's bollocks. <laughs> so, uh, but nice goal to make it to one. Mario Fernandez, obviously starting it off, and really gave the the grip of morale boost. Obviously, it was dropped due to my two centre backs being gone, and <laughs> uh, they needed sort of like a collective, um, I don't know, bump from the defense, but um. Nice there, Salaqueta and uh, Marcelo were solid in the defence, not letting Tottenham Hotspur score. So we did have a match against Manchester City, we did end up winning 1-0, Churchy coming off the bench, and because it's the FA Cup, I don't really care unless it's a final. So we do have a match against uh, Atletico Madrid, so I kind of did spoil that we did have a match against Barca, but um, I did simulate that match 2-0 because we ended up winning quite significantly in the last match. But we do have a match against Barcelona in the quarters. Suarez is at Real Madrid, um, but this is the team I'm going with. I'm going with a 3-4-1-2, obviously Sherlock and Eden Hazard on the wing. We've got Matic and Willian in the center defense, the two center roles. We've got the big Zlatan Ibrahimovic, and then we have, uh, he's, this is probably the first time he's facing his former club in a Chelsea color as versus Barca. Uh, obviously, we've got the playmaker Oscar supporting Benzema, and we have the beast, Peter Cech. So, 
In the other quarters, Juventus play Benfica. Bayern Munich play Ajax, I think that was. I couldn't quite... I was just looking at the screen, but... um. Very interesting matches there. I wouldn't have thought that Benfica would have got very far, especially in the quarters of the Champions League. But uh, very much the same boat as Ajax. But we are versing uh, Barcelona for the first time since we played as them with some fam some familiar faces there. Messi, Iniesta. I think I sold him by the time <laughs> we had our Champions League stuff. But we do have a match against... Barca, and I'm hoping we can pull away with the win. And I'm hoping that man right there, Eden Hazard, could score a couple of goals for us. Ibrahimovic cuts back inside and sends an absolute howler. Fucking skies it, man. But uh, this match is very tight. Barcelona's defense is very, very fucking strong. And with that 1-2 passing, we barely got any chances through. PK, of all the players to put one in the back of the net with his foot, it was PK to make it 1-0. Very, very disappointing. Uh, how late and boring this game was, to be quite frank. But we're very much the same as Barcelona. We we don't really go through that aerial through balls all that too much. We hold up the play because we've got a spectacular midfield and we've got some crazy, crazy passes. So to end the episode on a high and uh, happy note, Zlatan ends up scoring four goals against Stoke City and uh, William gets one. So fucking Ibra went ham. was like, fuck that, boss, a cunt. <laughs> fucking just went ham against Stoke, which is quite interesting because you know how Stoke plays their football. So we're coming to the end of the episode guys thank you very much for watching make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and above all make sure to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day thank you very much guys hope you enjoyed the video goodbye